Vlog time. Hey guys, Vibnik here, back with a vlog. V1 OG, hash one. Um, decided to restart the numbering again of the vlogs. They are very different to when they first began the vlogs. Uh, so, and we messed up the numbers 58, 59, the, the whole 58, 59 debacle. Um, so, starting again with the numbering of the vlogs. It's not a wildly, like, going to be a wildly different vlog to what you're used to. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm starting again. V1 OG is the name of the vlogs from now on. Starting a whole fresh uh, set of vlogs, you know. Uh, but essentially, you know, if you've seen one before, you're gonna, it's going to be very similar to that. So uh, that is what we're doing. Uh, we're doing a cheeky vlog, a little bit impromptu. I've got a few notes, but nothing major. Also, China have been on holiday, so there's not a vast gambit of new stuff either. Um, so we're really just going to have a blether, uh, a chat, a waffle, and uh, see where uh, see where we go. Vaping on in this vlog, my Delrin phobia. Uh, just put the review up for that previously uh, from ModestGallery.com. The Delrin phobia, completely made out of uh, Delrin 18650 Mech Squonker. Beautiful little thing in my opinion, and uh, it's got a little 22 mil Druga on top. We absolutely uh, rinsed that uh, Mech Squonker from Orgvape, didn't we? When uh, we reviewed that, it was really terrible. But as I did say in the video, the the actual Druga that came with it, the 22 mil Squonking Druga, it's probably worth 25 quid anyway. So just throw the Squonker in the bin and keep the RDA. Uh, I, I really like these little Drugas, uh, solid little RDAs. Battery might be dying a bit on here, but uh, yeah. So the 22 mil Druga on top, and inside we have uh, Killer Custard Lemon. We'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Uh, so we got all that to come. So yeah, check out the review for this if you missed it. Uh, it was one of these, you know, sort of higher end show and telly videos, more than a review. You know, Brad, who makes them, is a mate. Uh, so yeah, so yeah, that's a thing. Uh, but yeah, check out the video. Check out the video if you missed it for that. Uh, just nice. To, it's just nice to have a look at these things, isn't it? Um, maybe you've already got one. Uh, maybe you've always thought about getting one, or maybe you just fancy a look. You know, I just like looking at some stuff. Re really, I, I look, a lot of Mark Todd's videos, a lot of Damien Mortar's videos. You know, I, I'm no intention to buy some of that stuff, but I like to have a look. You know, see what's out there. Uh, very interesting indeed. So that's the thing. Check it out if you missed it. Uh, but that is what I'm vaping on while chatting away in this vlog. Uh, so yeah, like I said before, not an insane amount of vape mail uh, of late. One thing that came in um, just before I, the reason there, there's a bit, there was a big gap in my videos. There's a big gap. There's a just over a week gap in my videos. Uh, and the reason for that was I got a bit poorly, I got tonsillitis, um, couldn't speak, couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, couldn't drink. Uh, it was, wasn't was very pleasant and so obviously uh, no reviews for a while. So there was the, the Fury from E Phoenix. there was that one. And then like, a couple of days after that there was the Tessera from e Leaf, which is really cool by the way. Um, and But then there was a huge gap, uh, there was a huge gap because I got a bit, got a bit poorly sick. Um, so there was that. So there was that and the Chinese holiday and that's why there was a, a big delay on stuff. Um, one thing that did come in just before I got poorly though was the uh, Cryos V2 dual coil RTA. So um, they did the Cryos V1 RTA, fantastic RTA um, back in back in the day. You know, very revolutionary. Uh, Velocity post RTA, really cool top fill, all that stuff. Great little RTA in its time. Um, and then they did a V2, but they did a single coil V2 about four months ago, uh, and that was all right. That was pretty good. Uh, didn't actually review that one, but uh, it was all white. And then now they have done a dual coil Creus V2, and that is what this is. And it uses the same deck as their Creus RDA, their bottom feeding Creus RDA, which we've also reviewed in recent weeks. Um, so yeah, so this is the Creus. Got it on the Lustro. Uh, Creus V2. It's exactly what you'd expect from a Creus, really. It vapes exactly like the first one in terms of style. Um, you know, 50 watt vape, 60 watt vape around that mark, dual coil, 
um, juice flow control, it's got that brilliant OBS top fill that we love, all that good stuff's really well made, OBS tanks tend to be really well made, um, they don't do many bad tanks OBS, the engine was good, Creus was good, Creus 2's good, um, they don't do many bad tanks uh, at all OBS, so very solid indeed, uh, check out the review if you missed that one, but uh, that came in, so that was a thing. Uh, we did the E Phoenix uh, Fury as well. Uh, really awesome uh, 18650 Switch Vet Squonker. Love the electronics on this, you know, uh, really changes things up. You've got your battery life indicator, shortage protection, uh, low voltage cutoff. Uh, really cool. Obviously, it's got these interchangeable doors I showed you on the review as well. Really cool E Phoenix Squonker. Uh, and I did a video for that, so that was a thing. Um, the one thing to note on this uh, is if you're used to eFenix stuff, it's actually very affordable. It's actually about 80 quid, 90 quid. So a very affordable squonker compared to what you'd expect. You know, they have done tanks in the past that have been 150, 160 quid in the past. So the fact that they've managed to produce a brand new squonker for 80, 90 pounds is really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, the Fury squonker was a thing. Um, so that was a thing, uh, various, various things, but uh, yeah, vape mail, vape mail, uh, the one standout thing, I've got a few things on the way, and there's a few things that I still haven't reviewed that I need to come back to, um, but uh, the one major vape mail, as well as the Delrin Phobia, is this, the Emmy, and this is the next review, this is the Emmy from Endless, 18650 mech, super small for a, a mech these days, um, if I show you it compared to the uh, Mage, do you remember the Mage mech kit? Look at that, look at that, well tiny, well tiny. 22 mil wide, uh, restricted single coil uh, lung hit, uh, really cool RDA, the RDA squonks as well. Um, so you can use the RDA, you can get the RDA separate and use it as a squonky RDA. Loads of finishes available as well. I'll cover all it all in the uh, review, which is next. But uh, yeah, nice little, nice little mech from Endless, brand new, totally different, totally out there. You know, um, so many mech tubes are the same. You know, this has got its own unique switch, hybrid connection. It's twenty-two mil. It's against the trend. You know, it's against the trend. Really nice, really nice. Um, so full review of that next and take it apart. It's very unique. It's very different. Definitely worth a look that review when I do that one next. Um, so stay tuned for that. Uh, so that's the major thing. Uh, there's a few things I haven't reviewed that I'm supposed to as well. I'm not going to review this. I can't be bothered reviewing this. Uh, it's just another little starter kit, Ego Pen type thing from Joytech. The Ego ECO AIO. E I I O. Um, it's just a nice little starter kit vape. I think it's uh, sort of going to lend itself very well to Nick Salts, you know, if anyone's got any of these high Nick Nick Salt juices and they just want to get off the stinkies. The Ego A I O E C O <laughs> from Joytech. Uh, it's very cool looking. It's a nice little pen, um, little Ego vape. It's cool, it's fine, flavour's fine, uh, the vapour reduction is what you'd expect for a starter kit. Well made as you'd expect from Joytech, five clicks on, five clicks off. Cool little ego thing, ain't gonna do a video for it, I can't be bothered, it's too meh. I've done a lot of starter kits and I'll continue to do starter kits, but there's just not enough there on that one and I've missed the boat really, being poorly. So. That's probably not going to get a video, but it's solid. It's solid. It's it's what you'd expect. It's solid. I think you get yourself some 20 mg nick salt in there, and uh, you'll be throwing your Benson and Hedges away. Um, so that's a solid little thing. Also, not done a video yet for this, and I still will. I still will. This is the uh, Colt Mini. Colt Mini from Tesla. What's it go up to? Oh, wrong way. It's an 80 watt built in battery device. Uh, it comes with the H8 Mini on top. Um, funky, it's rock solid, you know, it's that real rock Tesla rock solid feel. 2000 mAh battery. 
uh, solid little uh, device. I'm going to still make a video for this, I believe. I've not vaped it for ages, though. So the coils are very wet. Um, but yeah, cool little screen, Tesla style screen. Really, really, you know, really diddy, really pocket friendly. Yeah, it's got quite a nice bit of battery life to it. Uh, a solid little thing. The other thing that uh, slipped through the net, which probably still should get a video, is the uh, wall crawler. Still got a battery in here. Uh, the wall crawler from Vaptio. Now, it comes, well, mine came with also the crown tank. I believe it's called the crown tank. Um, let me just try and get this off. I haven't been vaping this one either, if I'm honest. Uh, but uh, it's a standard, you know, regulated 18650 uh, device. It's very much in that uh, Pico style or um, what was this one called from iJoy? The Capo. It's in that Capo style with the top cap for your battery and then the button on the side. Uh, this one's got a clasp button. You literally just throne it's called the throne tank my apologies uh, the throne tank either way the throne tank is absolute guff pure and utter garbage um, the actual mod the actual wall crawler mod I don't know what this is gonna do oh, the tank is utter garbage the flavor is appalling it's abysmal. It's also insanely long for the capacity it has. Oh, it's just a crap sub tank. Trust me on that. But the actual wall crawler mod, it's got a really cool screen and interface. Um, you know, you've got all this going on here, settings and all that. Uh, full colour screen. Uh, so the, the actual mod's not bad. Not bad. Um, I would say it's not as cool as the Capo, though, which has been out a lot longer and is a similar style. But the actual mod is pretty cool. And it has a very cool screen and a very cool interface. This tank, though, flavours is like ah, oh, it's, it's like it's this coil heads are like they've been dragged through a drain. Um, so I don't know what that's about, but the actual mod's pretty half decent, and it's a very interesting interface. They've obviously put their own board in or something on there. So I'm still a bit keen to show you the mod. I might gloss over the tank because the tank is so so bad, and the mod is available separately anyway. So, so that's that's outstanding. So the Colt Mini and the Wall Crawler outstanding. The Ego AIO, I ain't doing a video on that. Um, life's too short um, for that. But uh, yeah, so that's the thing. That is a thing. What else has been going on? What else do I need to show you? Uh, still rocking the uh, Squape EC. I've got my own drip tip on here now. I've got it on my uh, Dacus Stab uh, dual parallel mod. Um, so that's very cool. That's very cool. Um, yeah, still really, really, really enjoying the EC. Vapes just like the Emotion, but it's just got such a, a light and friendly feel to it. You know, it's there's so fewer moving parts on it, and I just really like the vape, which is the same as the Emotion, but just like the simplicity of the EC. So I think it's really cool. I think it's a really cool tank, and I'm still really enjoying it and still vaping it a lot. Um, what else? Oh, another thing that's coming in the post. Uh, there's a few things coming in the post. I've got some new things from Orgvape coming in the post. Uh, and I've got some things coming from China as well. I've got um, I've got the new EH Pro Bachelor X tank. That should be here in the next few days. Um, I've got uh, a new mod from a brand new company. It's quite exciting as well. Um, so I've got that, that to come as well. Um, and but the main thing, the thing that I'm really excited about, which comes tomorrow, literally comes tomorrow, uh, is the TS Custom uh, Five Two Eight uh, Customs, the Goon people. They made their triple parallel squonker. The uh, they've made that squonker. I've got that coming uh, as well tomorrow. So that is a three cell in parallel. Uh, squonker, so three batteries and a squonk bottle, big chunky squonker uh, for the cloudy squonkers amongst us. Uh, it's been long overdue for someone to make a device like that mainstream, uh, so I've got that coming as well. I believe it's made 
with the goon people and uh, yeah so that's cool so I've got that coming as well I know Dean the vaping biker has already got his dual 18650 version I'm going to review the triple 18650 version so stay tuned for both of our videos on that really excited about that there are some videos already out there for it um, but I don't think there are any UK ones so uh, it'd be nice to do uh, you know get a UK take on the device so that's cool uh, really excited about that so that won't be too far down the line I'd like to think at the end of next week I'll be able to get that video up uh, I'll be vaping it like crazy because I've been so looking forward to uh, don't get me wrong I love these single 18650 squonkers I lo absolutely love the vape on them but the battery life is sh it's small the battery life is short you know and you're constantly switching out your batteries also if you like the cloudy vape uh, on your squonker you need to build low for these mechs and obviously you've got that battery sag you get that battery sag with low builds on single 18650 mechs so this is going to take up a lot of that you know this is not going to be crazy voltage drop battery sag this is going to be a very solid nice vape so very excited about that coming um looks great looks great range of colors you know very it's very goon you know it's very goon it looks very cool so i've got that coming as well so stay tuned for that uh, so yeah, so there are things coming. Wheels, uh, the wheels are turning, but I don't have a lot to show you right this second. Uh, moving into the slightly miscellaneous stuff, I did say I would talk about uh, this. Uh, the cool kids at Vaptasia have re released a new set of killer custards. So they've got a strawberry and a lemon and another one. They sent me a couple of bottles of lemon. Uh, vape taste the killer custard lemon and I've got to say lemon in the past has been horrific in my opinion there's been some of the worst vapes ever some of the worst flavors and juices ever in the history of vaping in my opinion I've had lemon in so I was a bit worried about it I love killer custard I love the original recipe killer custard I love it so much uh, as you probably know if you've been watching a long time one of my favorite custards love that juice but sticking lemon in there, I was worried. I was worried. I've got it in here. I've got to say, I'm absolutely loving it. The lemon's really chilled out. The custard still comes through. And it's like almost like a, a, a more of a lemonade lemon, a very sweet lemon. It's not bitter or sharp or intense or in your face. It doesn't give you any throat hit or anything like that. So it is a really nice, really cool lemon. Uh... Uh, yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this killer custard lemon. I really am. I genuinely don't know where you can get it or anything like that. I just know it's new and it's out there. I think the strawberry one would be nice. I haven't got the strawberry one, but that sounds good too. Uh, I wouldn't mind having a go on the strawberry one. I genuinely don't know where you can get it in the UK though. You're going to have to get your Google Foo gloves on and do some uh, cheeky Googling. Uh, put the uh, browser into incognito mode when you do that. Um, but uh, yeah, check out Killer Custard just to do some Google Foo. I'm sure it'll be available in the UK somewhere. No idea where. Um, they really didn't. I don't think they really sent it me for that. Um, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to try it. And it's cool. Killer Custard Lemon. I I'm a fan. I like it. It's cool. Check it out. Uh, also in the description, I'm going to put a link to the Vaguely Vaping Related podcast. Now, I used to do a podcast. I used to do the Let's Vape podcast with Joe Cloudy and uh, really enjoyed it. Happy days, really good times. Um, but the Vaguely Vaping Related podcast is a new podcast. Uh, and uh, well, it's not new now. It's been going a long time, but I was on it. I was on it. I was a guest on the Vaguely Vaping Related podcast with Jimmy and Chandler. Uh, episode 20 or 21 let's say 21 I believe it was episode 21 but there's a link to it in the description if you're a podcasty person if you used to listen to the Let's Vape podcast I don't know maybe you did if you fancy listening to uh, a vaping related or vaguely vaping related podcast uh, with me on as a guest check it out link in the description to the vaguely vaping related podcast check it out um, so that's a thing um, another thing I popped up on, uh, I said I'll, again, I'll put a link in the description, uh, Sir Vaporlot, Vinny, Vinny, who has been on the Ideal Home Show last week, um, I was on his show, he does a show on Monday nights, uh, I think it's called Let's Talk With, and uh, on the show that I was on, it was me, Dimitri the Vaping Greek, who's now a regular co-host on there I believe, and uh, Phil Basado, so me, Dimi, Phil Basado and Vinny, 
uh, and that was a few Monday nights ago, and uh, it was just a little live show, cheeky little live show, and uh, yeah, it was good, it was a good little live show, it's a really good thing on a Monday night, they had Grim Green on last week, I believe, as well, uh, so link to the show that I was on, on Vinny's channel, in the description, check Vinny out, uh, cool up and coming reviewer, doing very nice, um, he just seems like a nice guy, you know, <laughs> there's a bit of a shortage of nice guy reviewers in the UK for some reason, uh, so check him out, Vinny. Uh, doing a good job. Uh, the Monday Night Show is cool and I do like it. Uh, so check that out. Link in the description to that. What else? What else? Whilst we were away, I say whilst we were away, what I mean by that is since uh, since I've done a live broadcast or a vlog, uh, I did go past 11,000 subscribers. So that was pretty cool. Um, it seems to just seems to just chug along, you know. It's a bit irrelevant, isn't it, the whole sub count thing? But uh, I'm chugging along. I'm slowly growing the channel, uh, bit by bit, and I've gone past 11,000 subscribers, which is really cool. Uh, and hopefully, you know, stick around, and we'll continue to uh, grow a little bit as well. So thank you to. Uh, Anyone that's subscribed recently, welcome aboard. Uh, thank you to my existing subscribers for your continued support. Um, yeah, uh, so 11,000 subscribers, pretty cool, I guess. I guess, I guess it's a milestone. I guess they all are a milestone. Uh, but thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Uh, and yeah, we'll just keep doing what we're doing on here. Um, so that was a thing. That was a nice thing that happened. Um, what else do I need to tell you about? There is one more thing. Um, there is one more thing that I need to tell you about. Oh, I don't, um, okay, uh, I can't say too much. I can't say too much about this. Uh, but I have been designing an RTA in conjunction with a vape company. And uh, it has just gone into full production. Um, so I really cannot say... Uh, it keeps, keeps looking at it while talking about it. But uh, I really cannot say much about it. Um... But uh, I will, in the coming vlogs, coming weeks, coming days, uh, be talking about it more, announcing it properly, give you a video on it, getting it all set up. Uh, I have an RT8 coming out. If it never happens, you'll never hear me seeing again. You know, these things could, could, could go horribly wrong. But I have been designing an RT8 for a long time. And uh, it's just officially gone into full production, so stay tuned to find out more about that. It's something I'm excited about. It's not a money spin or anything, it's just something that I was passionate about, it was an idea I was passionate about, and a, a company gave me the opportunity to uh, to do it. So stay tuned for more information on that. I really can't say more than that, and I really don't want to say more than that just in case it falls flat, because these things do sometimes happen like that. Right then, what else do we need to do? One thing I've been meaning to do in a vlog for a long time is actually a little studio tour. Studio is a very grand word. This is just the spare room. But uh, a little look round and show you my actual setup um, and everything. I've been meaning to do that. So how am I going to do that, uh, she asks. I'll... All right, here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to do it on my mobile phone. So if it comes out rubbish, I'm not. it's not going to happen. You're not going to see it. But I'm going to give you a little tour around the studio. Stay there. Right, so I'm going to do this on my phone. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to make it really bad or really good or what. Uh, but let's do it. So let's hit record. Vlogception. Okay. Um, so moving over to this camera now. Let's do it. Right. Okay, so here we go. So looking around. Okay, so what have we got right up top here? We've got uh, boxes of nonsense. They come in really handy though. I, have, I keep all the boxes. They come in really handy uh, because obviously giveaways and things like that and posting things on. Uh, so happy days there. Uh, down here, this look, might look weird, but uh, what this is, is uh, it's a blanket for sound uh reverb prevention reasons uh, it dampens the the, the the echo and all that sort of stuff but actually what's underneath is drawers so i've got things lined up for giveaways and stuff like that in there review gear that uh, i'm not using you know that i just put back in the box clean up and put back in the box i've got stuff in there in this one the same but it looks a bit even more stuff like that and then i've got my juice mixing stuff down here Sorry about the shaky cam on here, but, you know, funnels, syringes, 
spare bottles, all that sort of stuff. I've got my Nick down here as well. Uh, VG, PG and Nick for mixing as well. And then behind this side, what have we got behind this side? Just storage, I think. Another set of drawers and uh, I keep more of the technical side of stuff in there. That tripod actually mounts a mobile phone. That's what that little adapter does. Comes in handy sometimes. Uh, down here, this is much messier than normal down here, but uh, you've got, you know, tripod, laptop, uh, laptop bag. This is my DSLR bag for my uh, camera. Opening her up, you've got my lenses and my tripod and stuff like that in there. Uh, but that, that, all that junk there is not really supposed to be there, but there we go. Uh, PC down here, obviously you need a good PC for this caper. Um, it's a Ryzen, uh, Ryzen processor, uh, loads of RAM, solid state hard drive, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's all good. As you can see the Joker behind used to have that on the wall back in the day. In this corner we've got the Trump book. If you watch ID Alarm Show you will know all about that. Um, that we do that in uh, Trump Corner or Troll Corner on the ID Alarm Show. Uh, this bag here, this is, this is things that I'm just stacking up ready for the next charity raffle. Every time I've got something that will be useful for uh, a charity raffle I just throw it in the corner there. We've then got soundproofing on the door, soundproofing all on the door there, all the way up to the top. Not soundproofing, but you know what I mean. You know, these panels, these were the wonky panels that used to annoy people. Goes all around there. I've got a skylight. I've got that semi blocked off because rogue light streams in. It's easier to just control your lighting setup without. So we've got as much as that sort of foam as I can get away with, really, because obviously we've got our blue wall. This is kind of the angle that we film at normally, like that. Got the backlight, moving the chair like this, something like that. And that's kind of the angle that we film at normally. Uh, moving it up there. So this is stuff up here. These are empty boxes of things that I'm actually using right now, kind of. On the whole, those are boxes of things that haven't been given away. They're still being used and collected up there. We've got our camera, Panasonic G7, on a little tripod on the desk. Uh, so we've got all that going on as well. Uh, yeah, so you can see that's all set up and re ready, raring to go. Uh, tiny little uh, pancake lens on here. Uh, that's all you need, really, because I'm so close to the camera, so that's perfect. Uh, I have a bigger lenses and things when I'm doing my Instagram pictures and all that. Looking down here... Uh, this stuff here, this is stuff I've just reviewed. <laughs> they're just my watches. But these are all things that have literally just been reviewed. So the Couples Kit, Squape, EC, the Endless Emmys there as well. So there's the things that have just been reviewed very, very recently. Uh, this here, this is a capture card. I plug the capture card into the camera and then into the PC. And that is how I do live streams using the fancy camera. So that's how I do those. I move this tripod round to next to the monitor and happy days. If I'm doing something like the Ideal Ohm Show, if I'm doing something like the Ideal Ohm Show, I've got my Logitech C920, tr traditional web camera. Uh, obviously, you can't just use your fancy one for uh, traditional Google Hangouts. Uh, so that is that. Junk around the back, junk around spare batteries for mouses and keyboards and all that nonsense around there headphones as well for editing and that uh, i've then got the microphone that i use for reviews this plugs directly into the camera it's a rode microphone and i've got it on a little rode tripod uh what else is there have i missed any bits no i think that's okay i've got my lights obviously so this is the big powerful light here then i've got two very sort of chilled out lights there and then i've got the backlight there and i've also got another daylight style light up top on the roof uh, so that is kind of the lighting setup uh yeah those are super bright but they just fill in the light a bit um moving around so these are the mods that are like on the go literally right this second so we've got the battle star we've got my two uh, we've got the phoenix we've got the 
hexome. The hexome's never far from the hand. Uh, I've got the EC, got the lustro, got the bonza. I love the bonza RDA. So that's all good. This is a this is a godsend. It's a tiny keyboard. It's like a laptop sized keyboard, and it's wireless, so I can move that away if I'm working on the desk. <coughs> so that's all good. That's all good. Uh, and then I've got my monitor, obviously sat on top. This microphone here is a Yeti, a blue Yeti with a pop filter on, and that is the microphone I use for live streaming. I've also got all these mods as well. A lovely picture of Mark Todd at the back there. Screwdrivers, spare bottles, drip tips. That's my 510 drip tip box. That cup, my Dean the Vaping Biker cup, is where I keep my goon tips. A lovely picture of Mark Todd for inspiration there. And then, yeah, those are all just mods that... Uh, that are on the go, kind of, semi on the go. Not quite in rotation, but on the go. Again, this table isn't really supposed to look like that, but because it's out of shot when I'm filming, um, I can never get around to actually tidying it up, but that is just coils and junk and battery covers and battery wraps. I do need to wrap a lot of 18650s. I've got my uh, Coilmaster tab there. This microphone is a, is a portable microphone. It's a, a Zoom mic. This is for uh, outside broadcasts is what that's for. A uh, very good microphone indeed, if you can't be plugged into a camera or a PC for whatever reason. This is the, tr this is the charger that I use most of the time. Uh, six bay ESYB S6 and then loads of junk and then I've got my batteries the ones on top here that shelf those are the single 18650s for single 18650 devices and underneath you can see the other ones are paired two 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 so they're all paired up the ones underneath so I keep my married batteries and my separate batteries separate then I've got my building tools to hand Pliers, tweezers, snippers, scissors. And I've got my coils and wire there in that other box. On the bottom shelf is just a load of junk. Look at this box down here of coil heads. There's about 140 different coil heads in there. And loads of other random stuff. That's the backlight. It doesn't make a huge difference, but it gives you that sort of nice effect on camera. Uh, but yeah, that again, that's just just a, just a standard lamp plugged in there. And loads of wires, chargers, cables, all that sort of stuff. Every single thing I review comes with a micro USB. Got my bin. This box here, as you can see, is pretty empty because, as we've discussed, there's not too many things in at the moment. But uh, that is the review box. That is literally the queue, the review queue. <laughs> uh, so anything that's waiting on a review is typically sat in there. We've also got some tripods. This is the tripod I use for uh, the up close section. I literally move that and place it here and then that is the greenness that you're used to seeing on reviews. So there we go and you can see uh, you can see my notes there, the review queue all crossed out, the ones I've done etc. Uh, so yeah, so I've got on my vlog notes on the right and uh, what I've got coming up for review on the left, crossed out when they're done. Uh, the little dot, the little top super tips here, the little dot means I've put a picture of it on Instagram. There you go. Got to be organised in this game. Uh, so that's that. This funny tub here, <laughs> this tub here is actually a load of atomizers that I need to sort out. They're dirty, they're not in rotation, they're not currently being used. There's nothing wrong with them, they just all need cleaning and sorting out and that's why they live in that tub right now. Uh, but that is it. I think that is it. So let's give you a let's give you a nice look. This is the nonsense. That is the nonsense of the room, and that is the room tour. All a right state of affairs. So uh, let's go back to main camera. Okay, so that was just a bit of fun. Uh, I hope it came out okay. It was just on the phone. It's the easiest way to show you the setup because the phone isn't generally part of the setup. So. Um, I hope that was okay. I hope that was okay. It's just a bit of fun, just to show you the madness that is uh, my review life. Um, just a bit of fun. Any other business, anything else I need to say? Uh, I don't think there's anything major. i tell you what, <laughs> I'll tell you one thing that uh, annoyed me this week, though. Uh, here's, a, here's a big tip for vape reviewers out there. 
this is a huge tip. Um, if you're if you're not going to make a video for a week, two weeks, no one cares. No one cares. You don't need to make a video saying you're taking a break if <laughs> if you're going to be back in four or five days. It's like tweeting to say you're not going to be doing any tweets today. You don't need to do it. The beauty of YouTube is it's a subscription box. If you've got a video, it goes in that box. If you haven't, it, you ain't. It don't matter. You don't need to take a break. You don't need to have to a video to say you're taking a break, a video to say when you're going to be back, and then a video saying you're back. Just do a video when you want to do a video. That's the beauty of YouTube. We're all part-time. It's all just a bit of a laugh. It's madness. It's madness. It's crazy. I was I was gone over a week with the poorliness. You know, no one batted an eyelid. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Uh, so that's a thing. Uh, the other thing, um, the the other thing I've been toying with as well. I, I was going to mention on here. Um, really, really toying with the idea of a Facebook group. I know there's loads of great Facebook groups already, but I want somewhere exclusively where I can interact with you guys that isn't a review, isn't a video. I can tell you what's just come in. I can do a little unboxing video, a very quick unboxing video. Uh, I can just show you what's coming in. I can show you what's coming up and tell you. I can tell you about video ideas um, that you guys can tell me whether you think it'd be a good idea or not, that sort of thing. Um, and giveaways. I could just do random giveaways if I had a Facebook group. I don't know. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm semi, 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 semi tempted to do a Facebook group. Let me know in the comments if you made it this far into the video. Uh, if you if you would join that Facebook group, if you if you'd be interested in that, you think it's a good idea, bad idea. Um, that's the beauty of Patreon. You know, I don't want to do a Patreon or anything. But the Patreon thing, the great thing about it is you can interact with people. You can do little videos that aren't don't have to be on YouTube. You can do little comments, you do pictures, you can do chats, discussion points and all that. On Patreon is really cool and I, I, I could do that with a Facebook group or maybe a like page. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments if you have an opinion on that. I know there's already so many great Facebook groups. I don't want to oversaturate it. I don't know. I don't know. It's a thing. That's toying around with the idea. I've had a lot of people asking me about... Uh, what do I call it? Let's see what we've got on here. What do I call it? A vape, drink, chat, chill live <laughs> uh, I do the uh, live broadcast uh, sporadically uh, vape drink chat chill live uh, and a lot, I've had a lot of comments on that video and, and, and previous uh, upcoming videos uh, saying you know is that is that going to be a thing are you still going to be doing that absolutely absolutely going to be doing that I'm wanting to do two different live things I'm wanting to do vaping Vic and friends where uh, I just get a random review a friend on as a guest and we just do a random live stream with that person and do a different one for each person and I'm wanting to do the vape drink chat chill on a regular basis like literally every Friday night or every Sunday night or something like that I genuinely want to up that live streaming a lot uh, I really enjoy doing the vape drink chat chill live uh, so hopefully uh, you know and clearly if people are commenting saying when's the next one or are you still doing this then there's an appetite for that, so that's really cool, and uh, I'm really, I really like that format. I'm definitely going to be doing that, so do stay tuned for uh, for that. It's definitely a thing. If you haven't caught one, check it out. Especially now because on the live stream playbacks, you can see live chat now on YouTube. That's a really cool feature. Um, so that's going to make it even more entertaining for people having to watch it on catch up. So the live shows on this channel are definitely, definitely, definitely continuing, definitely happening. If anything, these vlogs are going to be rarer. The actual pre-recorded vlogs are going to be rarer. Although I do need to sort of get back into the swing of doing these more often as well. But yeah, so there's lots coming up. Lots of good stuff coming up. Uh, I'll let you know about the Facebook thing. I, I'm undecided. Uh, sorry about the madness of the uh, vape room tour. Uh, just a bit of fun. It's something I've always wanted to show you guys. Uh, I think it'd be semi-mildly interesting for someone perhaps. I don't know. Um, but yeah, just a bit of fun. I'll be Vic and I'll see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.